think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid Lately communication feels so useless Savage If we don't got that obsessive love then what are we doing? I don't ask so much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden I tell you how I'm hurting, no You just take your story to take your day I ain't over it <clears throat> Grand Rising, everybody it's 6.25 a.m. on September 7th, 2024. It's 46 degrees Fahrenheit and clear. It's getting cold. It's getting chilly here in the cities. Um, we are in fall season. Yeah. My favorite time of the year. Doesn't last too long before winter comes in. Then the snow comes. So take that energy as a redneck. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? Just getting rid of some of that nasty, funky energy. Okay? Thank you, Most High God, for waking me up this morning, for giving me the breath of life. For allowing me to be here with the collective and uh, enjoying life. Yeah, just enjoying life. The ebbs and flows, the ups and downs, the highs, the lows. We're enjoying life. Maybe not all, not, maybe not every aspect of it, but it's still life. Um, we're not here to enjoy every aspect of it, but we are here to become enriched with every part of it, good or bad, high or low, slow or fast. Okay, that's what I learned, that's what I'm learning, that's what I heard. All right. Um, I do not have any channeled messages this morning. Mm -mm. <sighs> but I did have a bunch of stupid ass dreams, okay? Just people. People I haven't seen in years popping back up in my dreams, being evil. I was, I was actually kind of like fighting last night in my dream. So I'm a little sore like really sore sometimes if you wake up and you're sore it's because you've been fighting you've been astral traveling been doing you know spiritual warfare in the 5d um, yikes a lot of people are I'm assuming I'm assuming that a lot of people um, that I've been seeing in my dreams people I haven't seen in years people I don't, I don't even like Okay, people, I don't quit. Um, I, you know, when 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 that happens, this is what I this is what I think happens when that when when that occurs. See what we what we what we're starting to realize now is that, um, excuse the dishwasher in the back, but what I'm starting to realize, uh, what I'm starting to know now, or what I feel, or what I think, or what I believe, is that we. Well, I, let me just speak from an I standpoint, but I think that this I standpoint could be a us standpoint, um, that we've been around people for years that have been doing witchcraft, that have been, that are, that have been worshiping the devil, that have been conjuring up spirits, that have been performing rituals for a very, very long time that we just, we just didn't know about it. I really feel like that's what it is. Um, you know the, the 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 enemy the devil will send legions of demons after you your entire life everybody could be around you could possibly be demons or you belong to a family of masons and eastern stars that have been doing witchcraft over you your entire life but you don't know that they're easterns or eastern stars are masons you don't know that because you're not supposed to <laughs> they understand that they understand the concept and, 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 and the instruction of how to use and manipulate energy, 
how to siphon energy from people to remain strong, to remain rich, to remain po in power. They they understand all that. It's us that doesn't. Okay, we don't understand that, any of that because we're good souls. <laughs> we are angels. We don't manipulate energy. We transmute it for good. But you're around a bunch of, and see, like that's that's the other part of, um, like getting getting the, the sign seal delivered, uh, DNA test results. Cause it's like okay, so now I, I I totally now I realize I'm related to these Masons and Eastern stars. <laughs> these cats are stupid. Now you're like, yeah, okay, I totally get it now. Yeah, I now I now now I get it. Okay, because there's there's definitely you know there's definitely three that I can name for sure that are that were either Masons or an East or Eastern stars. Actually, four. Uh -huh. So you have people your entire life sitting around doing rituals on you, and you know when you you, you know what does it what does it say? Scratch a liar, find a thief. Oh yes, yeah. scratch a mason, find an eastern star. That's how that works. Scratch a witch, find a warlock. That's that's that that's that's the that's the part. If you scratch one witch, she got three sisters. <laughs> find three sisters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if nobody like that joke. I thought it was funny. Okay. And if we're not going to take it to a very kind of magic level, a magical level, um, you know, a, a where, you know, divination, let's just say that to make it, you know, easy and simple, that there are people that we grow up around people or that we grow up around people, we hang around people that we're totally blind to the fact perform magical rituals of some sort. Or they're just liars. They're whores for the money. Mm -hmm. They'll do anything to drive nice cars, own nice houses. You know? They'll do anything to remain in power. They'll do anything for people to see them coming and go oh who's that look what they're look what they're wearing look what they're driving look how much money they're tricking off mm -hmm. and this is not everybody but a lot of but but you know people what people don't i mean really at the end of the day it's really not anybody's business what people do behind the scenes but there is a question that begs to be answered how did they get that money did they get that money the right way did they get did they earn that money? <clears throat> okay, so if they did earn that money, how did they earn that money? Did they earn that money the right way or the wrong way? You know? Did they steal that money? Did they do something? Did they really earn that fame? Did they really earn that celebrity? Did they really earn that the accolades that they receive from people or is it something that they've crafted for, from a lie or from doing something very deceptive how many people had to die before they got their hands on that money you know how many fake funerals had to happen before people actually uh, you know put that money and invested that that blood money or that 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 false money okay before they invested it and you know finally got a big return on all these fake life insurance policies is what I'm hearing these fake car accidents you know a lot of a lot of a lot of the a lot of the money that these people are walking around with is solely is solely because they've stolen it um, they've they've invested this money within the the, the sex trade doing something like that uh the illegal part of it okay because hey do what you got to do to make your money as long as you ain't hurting nobody right you know 
But you know, you get a lot of people out here. You know, they 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 they, they participate in scams. They do a lot of fraud, identity fraud. A lot of people are riding around and, and living in houses and cars that don't even belong to them. They belong to you or are in your name. So by proxy, they belong to you, right? On paper. But you don't know anything about that because you're being manipulated. You have been manipulated. Your energy, the energy around you is being manipulated to, so that you stay blinded and that you stay distracted from what is actually going on. So the whole point about having spiritual awakenings is what I'm hearing this morning is that so that you can awaken, not just awaken to the spirit within you, you know, your your own spiritual gifts and who you are uh, in, the, in the astral, you know, your spiritual ranking or who you are up there. Uh, a, a lot of it is to wake you up to what is actually going on in this matrix so that you can see the lies, so that you can see the deception, so that you can start calling righteous judgment, so that you can be more aware, so that you can protect your energy more. And that you can realize that the energy that's being manipulated around you is, is, being, is being done by a bunch of evil, uh, evil, dark people, energies, spirits. <sighs> I had a thought this morning about formal education. There are a lot of people uh, in this world that will look at me and go, he don't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even have a degree. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that will look at you and go, who? who? Who pays attention? Who cares what they have to say? They don't have any money. What I heard this morning is that you, you could be illiterate as fuck, but still read some tarot cards or read energy. Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. Don't judge a person by what they by, by what kind of formal education they have is what I just heard this morning as well. I'm hearing a lot of things this morning. I'm hearing that, you know, there, 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 there are a lot of people out here that, that think that people that haven't accomplished or, or, you know, done certain things in life aren't worthy of respect or, or opportunities. I like to remind everybody that the very first teacher of a university didn't have a paper degree. They just knew what the fuck they was talking about. And, 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 and history has shown that they were taught by somebody who didn't have a degree, who didn't even know how to read. You get people that want to quote Aristotle. Who's the other one? I can't remember, it's just on the tip of my tongue right now, but you know, they want to quote all these Greek mythologists um, as, these, as the great thinkers and the great minds of the world without really doing the research and seeing that these great thinkers and these great philosophers learned everything from their Ethiopian teachers. People that never get their shine because why? I don't know. Everybody forgets. Everybody forgets all those things. The way that they rewrite history, manipulate energy to make certain people feel as if they don't matter, they don't count, they're not smart. Plato was the other one. I'm just hearing a lot of things like that this morning. Twenty two on the clock. All right, let's get on with this. Archangel Michael, please call out the energy for this reading so I give a clear and concise message to the collective. I'd also like to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all your hustling demons go deaf. All right. So a lot of us are being used as traps. I didn't put any emotion on my hands. I got some Florida water right here. It's not the same, but it is what it is. 
okay? A lot of us are being used as traps and people still want to test the waters. That's what I heard. People coming to fuck with you in the astral realm and they, are they fafo? Mm. They fafo. Am I hearing this morning? I'm also hearing that they're still fucking with people's uh, YouTube channels, of course. They're still suppressing. They're still suppressing views. They're still shadow banning. They're still putting people under restrictions for their language. And that's fine. What am I hearing right now? Let's see. Let's get the energy for this reading. Twenty-two. I keep noticing the number twenty-two. Twenty-two is balance. Something's being built because that's a master builder number, isn't it? Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1927, inventor Philo Farnsworth demonstrated his image dissector, a precursor to the modern television. It transmitted the image of a line from one room to another. Back then, that's all you needed for a hit show. Alexa, tell me about the master builder number 22. Individuals born on the 22nd day of the month are considered to be a part of the master number 22. Master number 22 is considered to be one of the most powerful and lucky numbers. People born on this day are said to have the ability to achieve anything they set their minds to and make a significant impact on the world. Thank you. Absolutely. Happy to help. Mm -hmm. Happy Saturday. Yeah. So we're talking about 22, master number, master builder number, okay? Uh, you born on the 22nd? Okay. I don't think your life path number can be 22. I think life path numbers only go from, I think they're only single digits. I could be wrong. I see a lot of people talking about their life path number is 22. I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Life path number. I should know this. I, and I think that I do, but let's just look it up real quick. Just, just for purposes. Okay. Uh, life path. Our life path numbers double digits. No, you can break. You can break. Um, you can break the numbers down. Of course, um, if the initial calculation is. But if the initial calculation, um, it, yeah. Okay, so you can. My bad. You can have life path numbers. Okay, so this is the thing. So, you, you know, if anybody knows how to do your life path number, your life path number is uh, all your, you, it's like your date of birth and then you, and then you, it, 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 your, it's your date of birth and you use your date of birth. Fuck it. Okay. I got to look it up again. My mind is seven. So when you, when you, when you add up all your numbers, because it's, if you break it down. Now, when you break it down, but if your initial calculation is a result 11, 22, 33, or 44, you stop uh, because that's, that, so that, that means that, you're, that you have a master number for your life path number, okay? Alexa doesn't know what she's talking about. I think, that, I think what she said is wrong um, about the day that you're born on. I don't really, I, that, could, that, could have, that could have something to do with it. I'm, I'm pretty sure maybe it does, you know, because numbers is everything. But, um, yeah, but normally, so like, let's say for instance, for anybody out there that's wondering, so I guess we're talking about it this morning. I have a book here, how to find your life path number. Okay. What's the, what's the formula? What's the formula? Add the numbers in your birth month and day together. Okay. Add the numbers in your birth month 
and your day together. Add the numbers in your birth year together. Okay, and then add the two numbers, add the two results together. Okay, so you guys want to do a quick a quick lesson here because I'm pretty sure everybody doesn't know you know what what this is, and that's fine. You don't need to. All right, so add the numbers of your birth month and day together. So mine is zero six nineteen. Okay, so that breaks down to a twenty five. Okay, that adds to a twenty five. Add the numbers in your birth year together. Add the numbers in my birth year together. I was born in the year 1980, okay? So we got 25 from birth month and day together. Then we got 1980, so that's 10, that's 18, okay? So then we got 25 plus 18, okay? So 25 plus 18, that's three, okay? And then we carry the one, 43, breaks down to a seven, master number, a life path number seven. That's how you find your life path number, okay? So then we go, what is life path? Alexa, tell me about life path number seven. Life path number seven is associated with introspection, spirituality, and a thirst for knowledge. These individuals are often highly intelligent and enjoy puzzles and riddles. They are also often great at problem solving and have a knack for understanding how things work. They are also often great at problem solving and have a knack for understanding how things work. Why did she? Oh, I think I think she said that for the people in the back. <laughs> Just so she repeated that shit. OK, so, yeah, that's how you find your life path number. So then when I got the nine from, you can also use your name, your first name. And then there's a what there's a there's a whole breakdown of, you know, every number has every every letter has a number. And then you add those all up together and then you break that down. OK, that's how I got the nine. So seven, nine. Tell me about Alexa. Tell me about life path number nine. From Gen20.com, Life Path 9 individuals are driven by a strong sense of compassion and a desire to help others. Thank you. So that's how I, got, that's how I came up with 7-9, okay? So that was just a quick FY, the more you know, a quick little math, spiritual, I think that's called gematria, I don't know, this numerology, I don't know. But I do know my life path numbers, and that's how you that's how you find it. Okay, so if you need to if you need to figure that out, you can either rewind this video or go Google the shit, co-pilot it, whatever you got to do this morning. You feel me? Oh wow. Okay, so um, we're talking about a, a builder number, master builder number twenty-two. That's very significant. You could have a master number twenty-two. Okay, a life path number twenty-two of master builder number twenty-two master number 22 okay a lot of people say master builder number four no 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 master builder 22 is a builder so you could have a master builder number 22 or somebody else does just because somebody has a master builder number 22 doesn't mean that they're not a fucking demon okay so you could or they could take the energy as it resonates you heard two 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 on the clock baby Bam. balance is being restored okay because two represents balance okay or a partnership of some sort it could be so check this out here, 2233 in the clock, baby. We're hitting all those numbers. So somebody could be a life path number 33. A build that's a that's a master number. That is the master. Alexa, what's master what's what's life path number 33? 33 is the natural number following 32 and preceding Bitch. 34. Alexa. Thir what is life path number 33? You know From wikihow.com. People who have a life path number of 33 are known for being altruistic, selfless, and compassionate. Do your research, but life path number 33 is also very much a, a good number to have, I guess. I don't know. So, you know, so you know how we go back on what she said, like earlier about being born in the 22nd. That's 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 farce. That's bullshit, because we don't have 33 days in a month. We don't have 44 days in a month. You feel me? OK. So take the energy as it resonates. But okay, so somebody could be a, a master builder number 22. Remember what she said earlier. All right, so check this out. We got the Ace of Wands in the reverse to so the Knight of Wands in the reverse. What does this mean? Somebody says, Uncle Savage, what the f does that mean? Well, first of all, there's a lot of dick going on here. So somebody got a lot of sexual energy, a lot of negative sexual energy. You feel me? This is little sweet dick, Willie. This is a gigolo. This is a finesser. 
in the wrong way. There's an upright, in the upright, this is somebody who likes to have fun, okay? This is somebody who uh, likes, is a show off, a bit of a show off, is a ladies' man, a younger ladies' man, or a younger ladies' woman, you know, a, a woman in her King of Wands, Knight of Wands masculine energy, that, it, you know, ply the roses, they fit, you feel me? But you got, uh, you know, just, just all around kind of, you know, this person would be somebody nice to be around. They're just very non-committal. They like to have sex, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, this talks about virility. This talks about sexuality. Look at them. Yeah, they usually like to drive fast cars, do everything kind of fast. They, 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 they're, they're, the, they're, the, they're the princes of the kingdom. Uh, somebody taught me a long time ago that uh, so the, the whole breakdown of, like, people being a prince, uh, they do whatever they want. They, they 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 just do whatever especially this this particular prince the 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 the, the wine the knight of wine prince does whatever he wants you know why he does whatever he wants because he's slated to, you know he's scheduled to be or slated to be the king he's the next in line so he's the king's son the queen's son he can do whatever he wants because his dad runs the kingdom so he could run around run amok around the town and just you know do dumb shit you know you know back in the day uh, in the courtyard of the kingdom, he could go, you know, pick up, pick a piece of fruit and eat it and go, I, I'm not paying for that. Why? And throw it at the person. He can knock over carts full of food. He can run around town grabbing asses, pinching booties, you know, grabbing dicks and shit, you know, whatever he wants to do. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the prince. He's next to be king. So there's, there's, by, you know, there's, there's that, there's that, there's that authority by proxy. Has, have they earned it? <laughs> no. They're actually, they're actually just 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 think about a lot of us out there were like this, and we didn't know why. It's, well, it's because we're royalty. Okay, we could have been somewhat a bit of an asshole. Blah 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 blah. Just kind of did whatever we wanted to do. Some would consider this person kind of like a free spirit as well. But in the reverse, it's everything that I said, but in a very nasty, negative way. So we're talking about a younger, masculine energy. Okay, apply the roses; they fit. Gender roles. Okay. This person here is a complete moron. I just heard moron, a moron. This person doesn't have to be young either, I just heard. Let's get an outer war card out here, okay? Cause I, I'm, I'm all out of order and shit this morning. Reverses right behind him, so he's got a he's got a he's got an enabling mother. That's what I just heard. His, his mom, his mom's a scab too. <laughs> his mom is a scab. That's where he, that's the pussy came out of. His mom, she's a scab. She lets him do whatever he wants. Then we got the star in the reverse behind the ace of wands. This kid is a total disaster. Just can't. I just heard can't get right. So we got a mom. We got a. We got a. A, a mom who's a, who ain't shit, and her son ain't shit either. But they. But the, but they belong to some type of royalty because we got the empress out here. So she'd be. She'd be the evil queen or the evil stepmother. I just heard. Uh, but she. But she'd be the. She'd be the bitch that married into the money, as 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 opposed to how it traditionally goes. In the olden days, the men are the ones that actually wed into the wealth because it was always the. The, the 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 queen's the queen's father who was the rich man that's why there was always like a dowry you know you got to pay for an, an entrance fee okay to get into the vip section okay and vip section would be considered the royal family okay so let's get the out of war card out here this took a very different turn now didn't it collect i need to open up this window because the lighting
And another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey. I thought about going back down to that uh to that little um like courtyard area where that squirrel is and going to give him some more food and see if I can find him again. I should probably do that, huh? I think I found a new best friend. I'm snow white in this bitch. <laughs> My only friends are animals. And there's nothing wrong with that. Somebody could go by the name Junior. I just saw uh, the image of Problem Child for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, somebody could somebody could be a Junior. Somebody could go by the name Junior, a Jr. or Junior or something like that. Somebody could be a whole a whole mess, a whole Problem Child. Remember that movie with the little boy with the red hair, Junior. Thank you, Spirit. Sun Tzu said, "The clever combatant looks to the effect of combined energy." and does not require too much from individuals. Hence, his ability to pick out the right men and utilize combined energy. We kind of just talked about that, didn't I? About energy manipulation. So combined energy, teamwork, okay? So, what, so, so basically what I got from this here, a clever combatant looks to the effect of combined energy and does not require too much from individuals. It's kind of like being mindful or being very skillful in selecting a team of people um, not so, so quality over quantity. Yeah, quality over quantity. Would you rather have 20 men who were big and for big for no reason? You know, big buff guys, but don't know how to throw no bows, don't know how to fight, don't have hands on them, they're just big. Or would you rather have five, five, five uh, skillful ninjas, skinny dudes like me, that are warriors in spirit, and know how to fight. Would you rather have that or would you rather have 20 big dumbass dudes who don't know how to fight? That's what I picked up from that. So quality over quantity. Combined energy teamwork is on the back of the card. It says it is easier to lift a heavy weight with others than by yourself. You can apply this to your decision making too. Seek advice from those who are more knowledgeable than you in specific areas, which will help you make better small choices. The more you know, the more options you will have. Exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody need to hear that this morning. Okay, quality over quantity. It's not how many people you have telling you what to do or giving you advice. It's the quality of the person. You could have a million people telling you what to do. Most of us usually have, if not a million, but you get where I'm coming from. And then you come across that right person that goes, you ain't got to do that. Here you go. Who the fuck are you? You ain't got no money. You don't have no education. You don't have a formal education. I got I got people with degrees telling me what I need to do or giving me advice on how to move in life. You ain't got no motherfucking degree. Hell, you don't even drive a car. But what you said makes perfect sense. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. <clears throat> All right, so back to this, okay? Back to this. So we have a king, a king, a knight of wands here, and there goes his mom right behind him, okay? She lets him do everything. She he, she just lets him do everything he wants. Seven of wands. She does not put. There's no boundaries. There's no boundaries between these two people. OK, but there's a lot of mad. There's a lot of manipulation going on here in control with the with the two of pentacles here. So we have a mother who is manipulating and controlling her son. They don't have any boundaries. Neither one of them do. But there's definitely no boundaries between the both of these two people. Or I'm not even going to I'm not even going to tell you what what card is behind this here. Oh, well, this could really make a lot of sense, though, because they're yep. The, the devil's right behind and a low vibrational devil energy as well. You feel me? Okay, we got the lovers to the devil right behind this mother, this empress, and this knight of wands in the reverse. Both of them are in the reverse, by the way. So what am I hearing? This is a stepmother banging her stepson is what I just heard. There are no boundaries between these two people. This, this older chick has been manipulating this younger man, the stepmom. 
I don't know if the, the dad's not even, we don't even have an emperor card out here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is disgusting. Do I have to? I just got God bumps. I got it. Okay, so there's definitely a message here. Somebody could be a Gemini. Somebody could be an Aquarius. I mean, I said an Aquarius. No. Well, somebody could be an Aquarius. Somebody could be a Gemini or a Capricorn, okay? But these two are lovers. This, this, well, let me just say this. I heard stepmother and stepson, but maybe it ain't like that. But it is an empress. So we're talking about an old bitch. Or somebody, somebody that's all four queens in the deck. Somebody that has the experience of all four queens. Whether that's in a low vibration or a high vibration. But these people belong to some type of... Uh, wealth they just do because that's the whole channeling I was having in earlier so we're talking about so think about it like this we're talking about the stepmother we've seen this in movies before hell a lot of us have seen it in real life an evil stepmother is banging her stepson we've seen it in movies all the time okay but there's some a lot of manipulation here to control probably some finances here so I wonder if this I wonder if this knight of wands his father is no longer with us or could be A lot of dark magic, okay? We have Aquarius right here, okay? Somebody's definitely an Aquarius in this mix here. Probably the Page of Cups, this kid. This Knight of Wands could be an Aquarius in the reverse. He really could be. Mm -hmm. This doesn't even have to be a stepmother. This could be like an aunt, okay? That's what I just heard too. Uh, Spirit wants me to keep these two out. So we're talking about an Empress in the reverse and a Knight of Wands in the reverse. Y'all, that's a lot of... That's a lot of... That's a really... This is a very toxic connection here. And then we got the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So there's a lot of banging going on here, you guys. There's a lot of low vibrational sexual energy, sex magic energy. You feel me? Ah. <sighs> There are no boundaries between these two. So tell me tell me what you want us to know this morning. Why are we talking about this? What does somebody in the collective need to know today? This is going to be a confirmation for somebody I'm hearing about something. You're going to say, I knew it. You're going to say, I knew it. So maybe you just need the confirmation so that you can make better, uh, better, build better. Maybe you're in that master builder number 22. You could really just be, okay? Look it up. Like I'm not going to go into it, okay? Well, maybe I will. It's a Saturday morning, so we're just going to... 702 is on the clock here. I just noticed that, so Vegas could be very significant. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. I just heard, uh, shit, damn, motherfucker. You know that song by D'Angelo? That name could also be very significant as well, okay? We're talking about D'Angelo. We're talking about Angie Stone. She was a lot older than D'Angelo when they got together. So we could be talking about a relationship like that. Okay? So maybe this ain't nobody that they're related to. I'm picking up on some, some relationship shit. Like relation. Like there, there's some type of family connection here. So, you know, this could really be like an aunt and then a, a nephew on the other side of the family. And they're banging. Something like that. But there's they're not related by blood. Okay? Qualities of a master builder 22 the master builder number is known for several key for several key qualities leadership they possess strong leadership abilities and can inspire and guide others with their visionary ideas practicality number two they are highly practical and detail oriented with exceptional organizational skills number three determination they are determined and goal oriented often working hard to achieve their ambitious goals humanitarianism okay that's aquarius energy they have a strong sense of humanitarianism and often aim to make positive impact on the world innovation they are innovative and creative with a forward-thinking mindset that aids in problem solving number six discipline they are disciplined and hardworking, which helps them turn their dreams into reality these qualities make master builders 22 capable of achieving great success and make significant contributions to society. 
Okay, this young man is a master builder number 22, but they have the influence of this empress energy in the reverse. This person is manipulating this, this young man's all these qualities, these are this because if you think about the King of Wands, the King of Wands is a natural born leader. So quite, you know, quite naturally, the Knight of Wands is also supposed to be to grow into a King of Wands, a very natural born leader, a master. You know, this this is very, this is very deep. This is very kind of, this is very interesting here. So we're talking about sex magic. We're talking about energy siphoning. This empress energy is an ink is a succubus jezzy, okay? She's a witch. A witch, a witch, a witch. She is this who, are, who I'm talking about right now, this empress energy, uh, uses young men to siphon her energies to manipulate them because this is the, all the qualities. So just think about it. You get somebody, this is a groomer. This bitch is gr a groomer. She's a groomer. what I just heard we're talking about an old woman here an older woman doesn't have to be like an old woman I mean who would who would who would who would really be running up inside some like 80 year old woman I mean I'm sure that there are some that would but we're talking about somebody that's you know maybe 50s or 60s um, a cougar somebody who's very uh, you know could be you know very attractive probably has money uh, but this but this woman likes to likes to manipulate younger men uh, that are probably destined to step into some type of leadership role or to take over something, maybe like a company or some funds. But she manipulates them so that she can have some, she can control them. Okay? You feel where I'm coming from with that? Okay? I hope you do. What else we got here? Thank you, Spirit. Mississippi, Jackson. Okay? And then Michigan is also very significant as well. We're going to keep both of these out because Mississippi and Miss Mississippi and Michigan have a lot in common. A lot of people migrated to the north from Mississippi. That could be very significant as well. But we're talking about Michigan and Mississippi. So this older chick uh, and again, I'm, I'm hearing that she doesn't even have to be 50. This person could be in her 40s. But whoever this 40 year old woman is, this empress who is a mother, by the way, very toxic mother figure, uh, likes to likes to swerve uh, uh, on younger men and manipulate them for to, to siphon the energy off of them. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. But whoever this younger man is, is is slated to be some type of king or that's what she thinks anyways. OK, I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. But there's a lot of sex magic, a lot of sex magic going on here. A lot of sex anyways. Queen of Cups in the reverse. That's her energy, of course. Let's get another episode. Yeah, thank you. Ten of Wands. Heavily Burden. Or she's weak. Because it came out in the reverse. Let's keep, let's keep it. She's, no, she's weak. It's a weak bitch. Page of Cups. Again, in the reverse, okay? Spirit says that's the truth here. Something about the truth. This person can't have any children. She's she's barren. She doesn't have children or she cannot have... What am I hearing? Tell me about this Queen of Cups to the Ten of Wands to the Page of Cups. I'm hearing that she can't have children. Okay? The fact that I have to say, like, give a disclaimer, I'm not talking about people who can't have kids. I mean, we have to say stuff like that. Some, we don't have to say any fucking thing. But I felt the need to say that because somebody might go, well, what is he saying? I'm saying that this woman, this particular woman, can't have kids. Tell me about this tower in the reverse here. Page of swords in the reverse. Again, we got a lot of page energies out here in the reverse here. I feel like this person, I feel like this woman is trying to get pregnant at her, with her old ass. Yeah, she has a weak page of cups. She can't hold, she's not strong enough to carry a, a child. The tower in the reverse talks about something that hasn't happened yet or 
the tower in the reverse of the page of swords in the reverse because we got page energy it's like she almost gets pregnant maybe she does get pregnant but she's her, something something about her womb is not strong enough to carry a child with the, with the ten of wands in the reverse here I can't make it up. I can't make it up. What I tell you? A Jezebel, a succubus, a witch bitch. Okay. Why is this person? This person's also very much a huge liar. There's some type of huge, this very deceptive here. There's some type of deception going on here. Okay. person is lying and saying that she's pregnant I don't know this person lies about being pregnant that's what I'm hearing this person's lying to somebody about possibly being pregnant by this younger man is that what I'm hearing I feel like this person is lying about being pregnant or lied about being pregnant I don't know but she has a she 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 does this with younger men. I'm starting to get irritated. Seven eleven on the clock. Okay, keep going. Karma. Karma. What's up? I miss the kittens. Somebody needs their ass whooped. Yeah. Somebody is also a Gemini. Okay. Somebody's got a bad idea. Who is this old bitch getting pregnant by young dudes or trying to? I'm telling you it's because this person is destined for some type of throne. There we go. A throne. We got the emperor in the reverse here. Aries energy. This woman is an Aries. This this Queen of Wands is an Aries. A very karmic Aries as well. Emperor Empress. She got some very toxic, toxic masculine ways as well. She likes to control people, abuse people. This person's very abusive. Okay. She's lying about being pregnant, or she's I don't know. She's lying about being pregnant. Lying about something. Tell me what she's lying about. I feel like she keeps trying to get pregnant by this younger man. She could keep telling. She could. What's the lie? Fuck it. What's the lie here? I'm picking up on a lie here. What's the lie? I'm telling you, she can't hold a baby. She 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 keeps miscarrying or something like that. Okay. Especially with the ten of wands to the page of cups. Page of cups talks about pregnancy. Um, the ten of wands talks about weakness. The queen of cups talks about a woman who should be a mother, but she's not. There's something that she doesn't want to be left out of or she's trying to stay, come out of poverty. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me what she's lying about. Let's get a few cards out here. Can I get three cards? What's this lie about? What's this lie about? What is she lying about, spirit? What's she lying about? Okay, there's one card here. We're not going to look at it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get one of those in a second. Okay. 
was that? Oh, that's two. And then we got another one, okay? I don't know, somebody's ancestor want me to blast her, like get all the information I can get because somebody's ancestor is uh, not very happy here. That's what I'm hearing, five of cups. To the hermit in the reverse, to the eight of pentacles. To the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. The five of cups in the reverse talks about not having any kind of remorse. Okay, this is a this is no remorse here. The hermit in the reverse talks about, in this particular sense, something coming out because the hermit talks about things that are you know in the background in the head today, something something that could possibly be hidden, or something not being looked into. But with the five of cups here to the hermit, it's kind of like. Somebody doesn't care about something coming out about possibly what they've been doing or some type of work. Clarify the five of cups to the hermit because I don't understand. OK, because if somebody's judgment, somebody's under heavy judgment here for something that they do for work. Back page of wands again. This page energy in the reverse is is something that is bothering me. OK, this does talk about bad news, though. OK, this is bad news. Something's about to come out about this feminine energy, about what she does for work, okay? Now, this Five of Cups here can, because uh, it talks about looking over things of the past, crying over spilled milk, okay? Uh, I'm picking up on the fact that maybe somebody didn't think something was going to come out. Like, that's why they didn't care. They didn't they didn't care about something not coming out here. OK, there's a lot of energy out here about pages, pages in the reverse. Whoever this woman is was not a good mother. OK, she can't. She I there's something here about her not being able to get pregnant. OK, like maybe she shouldn't be getting pregnant. But there's something here about her not being able to get pregnant anymore is what I just heard. She's trying to get pregnant by this younger man. This woman, with all these pages in the reverse here, this 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 empress energy is not does not have it does not have her kids or something like that. There's something about something about the kids, karma. There's some type of karma here, some type of karma here as it pertains some type of bad news. But I'm also picking up on something here too um, about her not being able to get pregnant anymore because she's not a good mom. That's what I heard. And there's something about what she used to do for work. If there's a queen of wands out here, scratch a queen of wands in reverse. You'll find you'll find a king of wands in the reverse. OK, or a king of pentacles in the reverse. So basically, what am I saying? Scratch a queen of wands in the reverse. You find a John. OK, you find somebody that's willing to pay for the pussy. So this person is probably some type of sex worker with the with the eight of pentacles out here. OK, that's what I heard. Clarify the eight of pentacles. So she's lying to this. She's lying to this. Um, so this is what I'm hearing. She's lying to this younger, this younger person who she's banging. This person that's like an heir to the to the throne. Yeah, ten of swords in the reverse. Page of wands. It's about to be some kind of ending here. She knows when this news comes out that there's going to be an ending here. She didn't think this past was going to catch up to her. Okay, there's something about. This news coming out, it was bad news. Once this bad news comes out, once this is communicated to this young man, it's a done deal. She knows it too. But I don't think that she really, I don't think that she thinks it's going to come out with the five of cups in the reverse. She doesn't care. It's it, what's done in, I just heard what's done in the dark comes out in the light. When I, when I saw the emperor card in the reverse, what was behind that was um, the moon. Okay. So again, a secret. <sighs> Shit. She's lying to this Knight of Wands about being pregnant. So it's kind of like, you know, um, well, I've never I've never actually met anybody like this before um, that would do. I, well, I, may, I probably have met somebody. I've probably known people that have done it, but they've, I've never, you know, they never divulged that information to me. But there's something definitely is about to be communicated. OK, so the page of Wands here. 
somebody's about to say something somebody's about to talk but you know so like a woman that's like okay she knows she knows that she's having a hard time getting pregnant but she keeps trying to get pregnant so this person could be saying that she is pregnant but still kind of like trying to get pregnant is what i'm hearing false starts ace of wands in the reverse yeah she she maybe has been getting pregnant but she can't keep the baby so i'm picking up on the fact that this person here has told this this knight of wands energy that she's pregnant but she's but she, she 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 was pregnant but she keeps i'm telling you what i'm picking up ace of wands in the reverse false starts queen of cups ten of wands in reverse page of cups all these in the reverse tells me that this woman can't have kids or she keeps losing you know three of pentacles here in the reverse to the queen of swords there's some type of there's a okay this is the bad idea this is the lie so this eight of pentacles can talk about what this person is doing behind the scenes as well that 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 is about to be exposed what's about to come out whatever this person is doing the judgment card in the reverse talks about making a bad choice or a bad decision but this person is probably under some type of heavy judgment in the ethers okay spirit says that's the truth there's about to be some type of truth that comes out about some three of pentacles here a collaboration this is probably the lie or the bad idea okay we got death here something is about to come to a complete ending here okay magic backfire so you mean to tell me that this bitch is doing some type of death magic over something or somebody? This is a magic backfire. Death. There's some type of death magic? I mean, she is a witch. She's a she's she is a succubus jezzy spirit, okay? This is a this is a dark witch bitch. So there's a backfire here. Magic backfire is what I heard. Yeah, and that's justice. Okay, so here we go again. So why on earth would this woman be doing death magic here? For whoever's about to tell. Whoever you are out there, you know something about this situation and you're about to say something. So you've probably been under attack, under attack, under attack. This is the page of wands to the five of wands. Somebody has been attacking you based upon something that you're about to say or have been saying about this situation that's what i heard hmm 722 you could be a master builder number 22 this other person could be too why am i picking up on the fact that this person that you're that you you probably have been telling this person about this maybe i mean it's not something that you're like blasting all over social media i'm not saying that what i am saying though is that you are probably telling this person about this trying to tell this person about this woman and they're not listening to you because they're under some type of sex magic okay because she's putting that thing on them you feel me you could be a libra we got uh capricorn we got what else we have out here we got capricorn we got scorpio we got libra out here we got gemini virgo energy So you're so you've been warning this person. <clears throat> you've been trying to tell this person about this this feminine energy that wanted to come out. You could be a Leo that wanted to come out. Something about Leo energy. Maybe with the sun energy, Leo energy. You've been trying to expose this person. Two and three of wands. A plan, a bad idea. This 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 three again. So there's a plan here. Somebody's doing death. This person could be collaborating with a magician to do death magic on you. To somebody's been somebody's been trying to shut you up. That's what I heard. Okay. There's a card turned over. What is this? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Things are about to be balanced out here. This person sent you some type of death magic. Yeah, they did. Tell me about the, tell me about the person. Let's let's grab a different deck here. King of Wands in the reverse. I feel like I feel like there's a there's a there's a King of Wands here in the background here as well. Yeah, probably so. I don't know. This person this person probably trying to. What am I hearing? This person is trying to get pregnant by somebody else because she can't get pregnant by this younger man. So this King of Wands in the reverse. This because we got Knight of Wands. We got King of Wands in the reverse. Okay, this could be like an older brother. This could be like a cousin. 
So we have a, king, a queen of wands in the reverse. There's a lot of there's a lot of wands in the reverse here. So there's a lot of sexual, uh, a very low vibrational sexual energy going on here. A lot of bodily fluids is what I heard. Yikes. Okay. This is a very toxic situation. I feel like this woman is sleeping with multiple people in a family dynamic, trying to get pregnant to secure a bag for who's ever next, who's ever, whoever is next in line. You know what I'm saying? So say like, for instance, somebody has a bunch of brothers. Okay. Now this woman is with one of the, she's with one of the brothers, this younger guy. Or she could be, I'm t this could be like this. I don't know. This is weird. Okay. All I'm going to say is this. There's, this woman is trying to secure some type of bag by getting pregnant by somebody that belongs to a family of affluent people or somebody that's supposed to be next in line for something. Okay. It's kind of like what I'm hearing is like nobody knows who's going to be chosen. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Tell me about the collective here. Again, something's backfiring here. This death magic. Dude, they're trying to shut you up. You could be a tarot card reader from what I just heard. You could be a tarot card reader. You could be a messenger. You could, you could be trying to tell somebody, yeah, about this deception, this heartbreak, this third party situation shit. You know about it. Or maybe I feel like you're trying to tell, you've been trying to warn this younger guy or trying to just warn people, period, about this woman. And uh, she wants you to shut the front door, okay? <sighs> Something about this person's past, as far as kids are concerned, okay? I don't know. Whoever this person is with right now doesn't is not does not know about this person's past, what this person used to do for work, and her history with children is what I just heard. Okay? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this person. This person, I'm telling you, she's trying to get her hands on some money here. Okay, this is a very toxic family situation as well. She wants to be a part of some type of legacy. So we're talk we could be talking about somebody that's like a groupie. Okay, these people could be in some type of, they could be in the music industry. They could be, but these people are wealthy. They got, a, they got some money here. Okay, but it's a very toxic situation here. Very toxic family dynamic. Somebody's trying to stay in the family or I don't know. So whoever this person was, was pregnant by somebody in the past and they got, they lost the baby. They keep losing the baby. It's because the babies are, the, the, everything is a contract. You know, a lot of people, in the, you know, does anybody take this the wrong way? But I, this is what I learned. A, a baby that, uh, that comes here on a mission, you know, uh, I don't know if this is, maybe not even coming here on a mission, just coming to experience planet Earth comes through. You know, I don't know, maybe because to me, it kind of sounds like it would be like a lottery. Like, who wants to go next? And they're like, I want to go. Well, we, you're, you're shooting a crap dice. You're shooting this a crap shoot. There you go. And then they get in, they get in the utero and then they get around and then they start because babies in the utero are alive. They're forming. And when they form, they're like, what in the fuck? Who is this? This is I ended up in this womb with this bitch and this nigga. Oh, no, nah, I'm done. Cancel. And then they leave. That's what I heard. So it's just kind of like this is very toxic. Everything is a contract. Babies can cancel contracts. They certainly can. They're, spirit, they're spiritual beings. See, we don't give babies enough credit. People, all babies don't know shit. Babies know everything, okay? <laughs> when they get here. Kids know everything. They know, they know exactly what's going on. That's why, they, that's why you ever see babies look at people like, who the, get, bitch, don't touch me. Or, uh-uh, uh-uh. Babies come here and they're like, oh, man. <laughs> it's the lottery. It's a gamble sometimes for people. Because everybody, everybody's not here on a mission. Some people, I believe, come here just to experience certain things, just to have the experience. So it is kind of like a lottery. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> they get here, they're like, oh man, I'm with this bitch, stuck with this hoe. Oh man, everything is a contract. You gotta, you gotta understand that, okay? So whatever. I feel like this person continues to con keeps to up. Like this ten of wands in the reverse tells me that this person has tried and tried and tried to keep a baby or to try to stay pregnant and they can't. Okay. This person's doing witchcraft while she's pregnant too. That's what I heard. King of Pentacles. Tell me about this. You are the King of Pentacles because this is who you are. You're somebody very grounded. Um, you are somebody who could be a business person. You could be very wealthy. Okay. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Something's, yeah, Eight of Wands. Again, there's a lot of Eight of Wands. There's a lot of wand energy out here, but Eight of Wands. Tell me about this Eight of Wands here. Four of Wands in the reverse. Tell me more. Twenty two in the clock when I look down again. The high priestess in the reverse. Secrets coming out. One more. I'm telling you, you are whoever you are, you are somebody here. This could be about sports. We could definitely be talking about a groupie. Okay? Ten of swords in the reverse. To the six of wands. B -b from the queen of wands. I can't make it up. There is. Okay. So whoever you are. I feel like you've been trying to tell somebody that you know. Okay. You're the king of pentacles. I'm seeing basketball. Basketball could be significant. Sports could be significant. R records. Music. That could also be very significant as well. But whoever you are. This is. this You, are, you have been trying to tell your homeboy or other men about this queen of wands groupie bitch who you used to be with eight of wands talks about confirmation fast moving action okay to the four of wands what i'm picking up here is that this woman almost destroyed you almost destroyed you and your career something like that but it didn't work ten of wands in the reverse I feel like this woman came along and tried to give, tried to get you, got tried to get you all kind of caught up in the, you know, stuck because this is who you are. You're somebody. You, you all are people very well known, very, very celebrated here. Okay. She almost ended your career, almost ended your success, something like that. Did you used to live, probably live together with this bitch? Okay, tell me more about who who the collective is as it pertains to this Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, Queen of Wands again. Yeah, this person, yep, yep, had you involved in all kind of third parties. Probably got pregnant. We probably got babies with her. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles here. She got pregnant just to get some page of some pentacles from you. Probably, yep, yeah, was married to this bitch. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Yep, yeah, was married to her to the Three of Wands to the Will of Fortune. That's what ended up, that's what happened between you and this Queen of Wands. And you keep telling people. She's only out to get from you, to take from you. She probably, you know, this could represent, uh, again, page, page energy. This woman, you probably have a child with this woman. And you're trying to tell other people about what happened. Will of Fortune in the reverse. <laughs> yeah. Justice in the reverse. Imbalances. You're trying to tell people. Pay a close attention. You've probably been trying to tell this young person. Did you, I'm telling you what I learned. I'm telling you everything that I experienced with this person so that you, let, I'm trying to tell you to enlighten you. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Wherever this queen of, queen of Wands is when you were with this person, okay, you realize very quickly this person don't give a fuck about you. It was a very unrequited love situation here. Temperance in the reverse, huge imbalances. This person could also be ill, sick or some shit, okay? Really, they could be and involved you in a bunch of different third party situationships. So you've been trying to warn everybody about this bitch and she's trying to put some death magic on you. It's going back to her. Okay? It's going back. Karma. That's what I heard this morning, okay? Let's see. I 
feel like this 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 feminine energy ch goes after master builders 22s there we go there's a very particular kind of masculine energy that this woman uh this i don't i'm not gonna say oh yeah okay because i was about to say i'm not gonna say lady okay that nickname could be very significant i just heard lady lady we're gonna get a couple of these cards out here and then we're gonna then we're gonna end it okay somebody wants initials let's get initials real quick okay let me get three initials out here for this the relevance of that that pertain to this download please Ooh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload, you feel me? A. Get one more. Air, A, I, R, air. Somebody could be an air sign, okay? The name Jordan could be very significant. The name Michael could be very significant, okay? Chicago could be very significant. But something about air. Oh, these initials could be first, last, middle initials. Something air. Somebody's name could end in like air. I don't know. Rhea. Rhea could be very significant. Ari. Ari could be very significant as well. Ari. Ari significant. Ari. J. Junior, I told you. AI, something could be something about AI, artificial intelligence, okay? There's something very significant about that. The name Ja, something could jar. We got Jar out here. This person is a divinator. She probably uses like some type of jar spells to trap people, okay? Something about AI though. I feel like this person has been uh, using AI to alter documents or pictures. Can I get a, because uh, I was told to grab these uh, horror oracle cards. So could, just to kind of close this out here, what else would you like the collective to know about this, uh, this whole situation here? So whoever you are, dude, man, that magic is going back. This person has been trying to shut you the fuck up, okay? It's going back. We got Michigan out here. I told you I saw Vegas, so Vegas is significant as well. We got Michigan and Mississippi out here, okay? Those, those states are very significant here. Quality over quantity. I feel like that's this person's, this woman's uh, idea. I feel like back in the day, she probably was like a big old whore that just tried to get pregnant by anybody. This is what I'm hearing. She's a groupie. She's, she was a hoe back in the day. She works very, she chooses her men very selectively here. This is what she does for work. This is how she earns her living. This is how she keeps money in her pocket, okay? So she probably maybe has had uh, babies by a very kind of affluent, popular, uh, or celebrity men. People who would be considered celebrities, whether that's on a grand scale or a very, you know, local scale, okay? It's from what I just heard. But this, I feel like she's trumped it up. She said, nope, let's go back to the drawing board. What I was doing in the past has not worked. You see, she even looks a little kind of like she got a little pooch in there. Um, so she's, this woman is very crafted and very skilled in the art of choosing uh, choosing the right kind of master. She, she said, no, I, I've, been do, I've been getting it. What am I hearing? <laughs> I've been doing this the wrong way all this time. I need to, so next time what I'm going to do to secure my bag let me get pregnant by somebody who is destined for something great, okay? Somebody who's a builder. And I feel like that's her, that's her, just her target audience now. Wow. So that's who she targets now, okay? 
Let's get let's get let's get one more card out here. Thank you, Spirit. Two came. Midnight. Midnight and wonder of the world. So, Gremlins. We already know this is my 3D card. Okay, uh, this person is very lives in illusions, perceptions. But there's something about midnight. We all know what happens to Cinderella at the ball in midnight. Okay, she goes back to the to the rags to the rags before she actually gets to the riches, of course. But Gremlins. I feel like this person comes off very kind of nice and unassuming, very sweet, very cuddly. But there's a side to this bitch that's very gremlin-ish. The illusion, AI. There's something here about an illusion. The 3D glasses. Somebody's being advised to, 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 to let you know that there is something very significant about this person. I heard that this person actually probably maybe goes to the bathroom like gets up early in the morning and goes in the bathroom and you, you know you never see this person without makeup on that's what i just heard world of the wonder i've never this wonder of the worlds king kong and jane let's see what the book says i don't really feel like i've ever uh had this card come out before okay so we got world of the wonders king kong uh, by marion c cooper and ernest b um, shoot 1933 33 again Okay, these builder numbers are very significant. Focus on what makes you fit, focus on what makes you special. Everyone has unique qualities, and you do too. Proclaim your individuality. Shout it from the rooftops. Show the world what only you can do. While attracting attention may lead to misunderstanding and others trying to take you down, uh, bravery can bring admiration and even spark wonder. In the reverse, overconfidence can bring a tragic ending. Hubris, ego. Whoever, you, whoever this person is, is in, I'm telling you, it's not a wands. It's in some very huge ego, okay? Uh, and and, and, and not, I, what I really kind of feel like is that this person is probably not going to listen to you. You tried, but, and, and this woman knows that you've tried as well. So she's, she's definitely divinated. They both probably have. They both probably have, okay, uh, and against you. So you could know this person like y'all i'm telling you there's something very significant about music sports some type of uh money some type of affiliation here you guys run with the same people okay i feel i heard that this person says you're just mad because she dumped you type energy and that's what a young man would say because they don't know any better and she's putting that thing on them too so guess what you tried let it go that's my advice keep it moving so we got gremlins out here by john dante the name dante has heard could be very significant joe dante all those names could be very significant 1984 you didn't listen and you see what happens? <laughs> I just said that shit. Some rules are made to be followed, and doing so can make the difference between a sweet circumstance or quickly multiplying elements of chaos. Timing can be everything. Okay? If things take a turn for the worse, it can be helpful to shine a light on the problem rather than let it fester in the dark. In times of festivity, be mindful in your gift giving. Be mindful of your whatever you're trying to do. You've already tried it. Let it go. Okay? And remember that personal experience can make holidays challenging for some. <laughs> Upright. Take comfort in doing what's responsible. Yeah. You already tried. Enough is enough. I feel like you probably were trying to go really hard. A lot of it, I feel like you're going really hard, whoever you are. And like I said, sir, ma'am, just take the energy as it resonates because something tells me here that there's probably more than one person that has tried to warn these energies or this particular energy about this Queen of Cups in the reverse. So again, take the energy as it resonates. You try to warn this this person, because I'm telling you now that this death magic here, this person is anybody that, I feel like anybody that's tried to warn this energy about this woman, she goes right to where she goes to in her closet or she calls her practitioner and goes, hey, I got another one for you. And they do work on you, okay? I feel like, I feel like, well, it's going back. That's what this card said anyways, okay? I'm not going to tell you to do a return to sender because my, my directive is that I don't have to do that no more. <coughs> but you ain't me and I ain't you. You got to do whatever, you know, suits you. I would definitely would, if you have protection rituals, I encourage you to do that as well. Ask your ancestors to step in on your behalf and, and, and get this hoe because it's already going back. She's already under heavy judgment. And all is about to be exposed about what this woman does um, very kind of skillfully and meticulously. She chooses her 
you know, victims I just heard. Oh, wow. Yeah, but overall, yeah. So I just described everything about this witch bitch. Um, let's get one more card out here and then I'll call it quits for this reading. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So again, these cards are right, right here. Um, and yeah. So something is quite, it's something, something is right in front of somebody's face. They just don't see it and you can't force them to see it either. You know what I'm saying? So that's also what I heard. But I feel like whoever you are, this is just a confirmation for you that uh, enough is enough. You've already done your part. Okay, whoever's out there, because I, like I said before, I feel like um, I feel like there's more than one person. So take the energy as it resonates. That's just what I heard. Yeah, it's okay. I'll take better care of him or her, nigga for real. <laughs> okay, that's what I. That's 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 pretty much kind of what. I'm hearing that this young man has been telling people like he's just jealous. You know, he's just mad because I got her now. I'll take he's just mad because I'm taking better care of her than he did. And you're like, Nick, nigga, for, for real? That's what you took from everything I just told you about this woman. Let it go. That's what I just heard. So let's get angel whispers. Thank you, spirit. Seeing a butterfly is confirmation that your nature spirits are working with you. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies lately, which means that you are protected, okay? You are being guided and you're protected. As it says, your nature spirits are working with you to protect you or to guide you, okay? So that is the end of this message. I'm closing out the reading, okay? New subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. Savage apple seeds. Ugh. Ugh. My hands ashy as hell. Grab the tickets. Grab, join, click the join button below. If you'd like to, you know, become a part of a, a become a Savage Apple Seed and, and, and be eligible to receive uh, something that for the monthly drawing and also help support the channel as well, which I definitely appreciate. So thank you very much. Anybody that's made any type of financial contributions to my channel, whether that's through PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat or Super Thanks, I appreciate you. Thank you very much because ain't nobody got to do shit. And anybody that makes any type of spiritual and love donations to my channel, keep them coming because it keeps me motivated to keep helps keep me motivated to keep putting out content for you guys delivering these messages and being good spirits to do so you feel me spirit guys spirit teams law enforcement y'all are the jedis intergalactic beings galactic federation hi how you doing okay ancestors 5d and 3d 5d ones especially what's up grandpa i love you guys thank you very much for allowing me to uh, be a voice for you and be a voice for the other people out there whose ancestors can communicate through the cards and through my mediumship capabilities. We definitely appreciate that as well. We love you, okay? What's up, boo? I love you, okay? Uh, and I think that's it. So if you would like to check out my Printify shop, I know I'm going to start putting out more kind of commercials and things like that just to generate some viewers, just to generate some, um, you know, exposure to my creations. I think they're pretty cool. So click that link in the description box below this video if you'd like to get you know check out my t-shirts have a couple of poster designs over there more will be coming by the end of this weekend there we go also too if you would like to um take a look at my um my oracle decks we got the savage knight of the oracle um Sa savage dark knight of the soul oracle cards which i'm still waiting to get i got to place the order and then we also have the love oracle cards um which also are very nice by the way um, they are movie type. They are movie poster themed oracle cards here, which I do have these ones. Okay, so that's what the front of it looks like here, as you can see. And just to kind of show you, yeah, we got some movie type. They are all in a row. Yeah, coming to like this kind of. This is what they look like. Very nice illustrations here. Okay, um, you can you can click the link below that to to go to check those out. Just go over there and say what's up to the shop. Okay, and if you are interested in picking up. Um, the respectfully fuck you, okay, gear um, at Just to Seed SMB's Etsy shop, okay, was created by um, my homegirl of mine, Kina. I appreciate it, fam. Uh, click that link in the bottom of this video as well. And, okay, and then you go over there and pick up some of the stuff. We would we appreciate it. We, we are definitely grateful for any anybody patronizing uh, any of the creations that we made, okay? I think that's it. That's the end of this message. I'm closing out the reading. I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Happy Saturday. Deuces. Savage.